Hello, welcome back to my channel. Um, so in today's video, I am going to be doing uh, unboxing and reviewing the Lunar New Year celebration outfit from American Girl. Uh, yes, I understand it is not Lunar New Year that has already happened, but I just got this outfit as part of my Girl of the Year doll haul. Um, so my friend who I got the haul from bought this specifically for Karen. Um, I don't, honestly, I have not read Corinne's book, so I don't know if this is appropriate for her or not. I, I think it definitely could be. Um, Lunar New, New Year is celebrated by many people all around the world. Um, so I'm going to show this on Corinne, but I'm also going to show this on my Truly Me 84, um, my egg that I got from the Sparkling Ballerina collection. So I'm going to show it on these two dolls. Now, of course, I can't show them at the same time. Um, but I hope to show you both so that way you can get an idea to seeing it on two different dolls, especially um, the two face molds, one with Corinne and one with the Jess mold. So um, here we go. So let's see, I've got the tape off. I'm really excited to add this. I have the Diwali outfit and I have the Kwanzaa outfit. So um, this was definitely next on my list. Um, the shoes. Okay, so I will say right away, I love this. I love it when they do sparkly shoes, but I hate it when the glitter, like, flecks off. This is sealed, so all of that glitter is sealed underneath, um, a coating of some sort, whether that coating is part of the, like, the actual fabric or not. I'm not, I, I don't know enough about this kind of material to tell you that, but, um, this is not gonna flake off, which I absolutely love. Um, and I also love that it's a little Velcro instead of on the back heel that it's on the side. I, that's just, that's going to be so easy to put on and take off. Uh, let's see. And here is the, um, the dress itself. Now I will say, um, like if you've watched this, any of my videos before, you pretty much have heard me like I'm in love with embroidery and this is just stunning. Um, this is, this is just absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I think this trim here is a little cheap looking. Um, it's not my favorite pick of trim and I'm also not a huge fan of the material. It's very stiff. I don't know if you can hear that. Uh, but in terms of the embroidery, I absolutely love it. I think it's going to look adorable on my dolls. Um, but I can, I'm already sort of leaning towards <sighs> A minus land with this. Um, okay, but we have also have little accessories. Uh, so this is the hair bow. Um, this looks really, huh? If I wasn't video recording, I'd stop and look up to see if that's Nenea's uh, birthday outfit ribbon because it looks very, very similar. I could be wrong about that, but it looks very similar. It's just plastic. Um, that's pretty on par with hair accessories for American Girl these days. Here it says Happy New Year. And of course we've got some dollar bills I can add to my money collection. Can I, I can't put those in unless I take them out of the bag. So I'm going to just leave those like that. Um, and I have here all of the cultural celebration outfits come with one of these pamphlets. And I think it's wonderful. Um, so yep, I do have the Diwali outfit. Um, I now have the Lunar New Year outfit. Um, I did not purchase the Hanukkah outfit, um, partially because it was the same sort of material as this, and, like, it didn't have this wonderful embroidery to go with it, so it was kind of, uh, the Kwanzaa outfit was amazing. Um, and then I'll get the Eid outfit here, outfit, that's my next one to get. Um, so hope I can add that to my collection soon. But those are the outfits from the series, and I hope um, American Girl will release a few more from the series. You know, they kind of released the major holidays, but there are, well, I guess actually if you ask a Jewish person, Hanukkah is not the most major holiday. And, you know, there are a lot more holidays with other cultural appropriate attire that could be used so I hope American Girl will expand this collection but overall that's just a quick view of this so 
overall, right now, I'm leaning towards the A- minus, um, just because of how stiff this fabric is. Oh, I just noticed something. Hey, <laughs> look at this. <laughs> so, normally American Girl has those plastic tags at the bottom, and this does have one. But it's underneath the tool. Look at that. So it's still there. They just didn't put it on the tool. So it's there, but hiding. So that's kind of cool. I, th I think that's a good way to do it. Um, I think if this had different material, this would definitely be an A-plus category. Um, I don't give many of those out, but I... <sighs> I don't know if this would annoy me as a kid like it's it's plastic it's it's not cloth I mean it's like I don't even know polyester nylon but not even the comfortable kind I don't know but it's gonna look adorable and that is what's gonna keep it on the A range and the embroidery of course I'm gonna pause um, I'm gonna put this on Corinne first and then I will show it to you and truly me 84 Okay, here is Corinne Tan in the Lunar New Year Celebration outfit. Um, I'm really bad with hair thingamajiggers. I feel like I say that in every video, like I'm bad at something. I, I don't know. I need to stop talking down to myself. I do the best that I can. And I try, and that's what matters. Um, I absolutely love this. This is going to be beautiful in pictures. Um, but yeah, that material is just so plasticky. That's my, like, it's not even cloth. I'm trying to think, like, you know those little, like, book bags that sports people sometimes wear? The little stringy book bags? That's what this material feels like. It's, I wouldn't want to wear that. But it is adorable. Corinne looks great in it. Like I said, it's going to do great for photos, but I wouldn't want to wear this in real life. Maybe with different fabric. Absolutely. Oh, I love the knots. Fantastic. Okay. So that is Corinne in this outfit. So I'm going to switch it out for um, Truly Me 84. So just you can see this with a different face mold. Okay, and here it is on Truly Me 84. Um, so I just switched the side for hair ribbon. I think I did a much better job this time. Hair ribbon, hair barrette, whatever it is. Um, I guess now that I've put it on two dolls, I guess two things I want to point out. Um, the first is these armbands are very tight. Um, they don't quite fit around their hands, so... Taking it on and off, just had to be really careful around there. Um, shoes were a piece of cake. And I guess the only other thing I would just want to caution you with um, is where the... So, okay, so Velcro is also called hook and loops. Um, the hooks are, the loops are the soft part and the hooks are the rough part. Uh, where that, the hooks come down, they come right down to this tool layer. Um, so you just have to be very careful. This tool will catch super easily um, on those hooks and uh, rip and tear. So you just need to be very, very careful. Um, again, I think I'm going to stick with my A- uh, designation. Um, it would definitely be an A+, plus if it had softer fabric. Um, and then my only complaint would be the trim, but honestly, the trim doesn't bother me as much as the fabric does. Um, it's an adorable dress. Again, she'll look beautifully in pictures. And I'm, I'm not sure how well it would fit on older dolls, like even my original Jess or my number four, like the older dolls. I'm not sure how that will turn out. Um, they're in pack, they're in storage right now, so I don't have access to them. Um, but that'll be something interesting. I'll update the video in the description if and when I get a chance to do that. Um, but yeah, overall, I think it's a great buy. I feel like the cultural celebrations, if you have a doll who celebrates Lunar New Year, it's definitely a must have. It is gonna look beautiful in pictures. And for that reason, I do recommend it. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. I'm not quite sure where I'm gonna go next with reviews. I've got a lot of curious stuff. Um, that might be next. Uh, but if you're tired of 
girl of the year, let me know and I'll find something else to do. Thanks for watching. Bye.